Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is September 5, 2022, Monday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. The first reading is from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is widely reported that there is immorality among you. And immorality of a kind not found even among pagans. A man living with his father's wife. And you are inflated with pride. Should you not rather have been sorrowful? The one who did this deed should be expelled from your midst. I, for my part, although absent in body but present in spirit, have already, as if present, pronounced judgment on the one who has committed this deed. In the name of our Lord Jesus. When you have gathered together and I am with you in spirit, with the power of the Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of his flesh, so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not appropriate. Do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast, so that you may become a fresh batch of dough. Inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Responsorial Psalm Lead me in your justice, Lord. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. You hate all evildoers. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful. The Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But let all who take refuge in you be glad and exult forever. Protect them, that you may be the joy of those who love your name. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to Luke. On a certain Sabbath Jesus went into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath, so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath, rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? Looking around at them all, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so and his hand was restored, but they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. Reflection Jesus is being watched by the Pharisees to see if he is obeying the strict rules of the Sabbath. but. When faced with someone who is suffering, Jesus is moved by compassion and cures the man with a withered hand. Jesus places more importance on compassion rather than following rituals. Not everyone will be happy with our actions as followers of Jesus, but we need to focus on how we can help our fellow people in need. Think of the man with the withered hand and how he would have felt after he was cured by Jesus. In our daily lives, do we seek out opportunities to help those in need, or do we limit ourselves to following rituals? That's the end of the reflection from the sacred space. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.